All right, uh, this is uh, Les Miserables uh, unabridged. It is uh, 1,462 pages. This is uh, all three Lord of the Rings uh, with appendices. This is uh, 1,412 pages. This is uh, the Bible, uh, which is 1,127 pages altogether. This is uh, 4,001 pages of stuff. And the Da Vinci Resolve reference manual is 4,100 and 42 pages. I mean, <laughs> this is gonna be a fast video. How can it not be? Um, it's pretty much a public service announcement. If you don't know about the DaVinci Resolve reference manual, you are missing out. Uh, it's very easy to find, by the way. If you're in DaVinci Resolve, come up to help, and then first option is DaVinci Resolve reference manual. You click that, it loads it up, and, uh, well, boom, you got over 4,000 pages about every single bit of Da Vinci Resolve. I can't even, like, scroll quickly. There's too much. There's too much. There is so... There is a lot. There is a lot. But it's all in here. Now, this video was kind of motivated by some thinking I was doing. One, I love the reference manual. I'll talk about it whenever I can. But I also went on a little journey looking up how we got here. Um, as you might know, Resolve has uh, uh, itself as a software changed so much, uh, but the reference manual has kept up. I tweeted out a little while ago, hey, follow me on Twitter if you want. On Twitter. Looking at some past reference manuals, the reference manual for Resolve 12.5 for March 2017. 1,060 pages. And then, you know, they just kept adding stuff. They tossed in Fairlight and Fusion, and then more Fusion, and then more of everything. And so this new reference manual, which they just updated for the full release of 18.5, 4,142 pages. And, like, it's a good manual. If I come back to the beginning, one, you have this great note by Grant. Uh, big Grant fans here, all of us, you watching, we are collectively Big Grant Petty fans. Look at this, you have a great table of contents. You even have these uh, bits on the edge if you want to jump just to Fairlight. Click that. Oh, there was so much stuff here. Um, I might actually look into this myself because track groups were also a new thing in Resolve 18.5. Uh, really excited about that. But you can search, you can click around. Um, they do a really good job, even covering like like Magic Cloud and like remote stuff. Hi, there are there are only so many ways to say it. This PDF is 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 cool. It's like it's a masterclass. I I don't know anyone who has read this. I know people who have like started it and gone through and done stuff. There is I I can't. It's so big. But hey, if you wanted to learn more about the uh, fast noise node, type that in there, wait for it to do its thing, and then boom, nodes like the fast noise. Fast noise is really basic, so it's gonna mention it in lots of other places. Oh yeah, even like basic node tree setup. But where does it talk about it itself? Fast noise texture, no, we want the other one. You can click through A, the fast noise node, and then boom, you got like a few pages just about the fast noise node. This rocks, this is awesome. Especially in Fusion with all the individual nodes, this is crazy valuable. It has several portions that are, you know, not just like listing out options, but like running through like smaller exercise bits. Hey, here's another thing I can talk about. Do you know that on the DaVinci Resolve website, it's a great website by the way, but boom, you hop over to training and you have uh, training videos right from Blackmagic in addition to more like full workbooks that you can download um, with like lessons and you can download lesson files. It's it's, it's, they, it's easy to like black magic. It's easy to be a fanboy. I know I'm a fanboy. I know sometimes fanboys are annoying. I know I don't have that much more to say other than, hey, use the reference manual. <laughs> I know a lot of our first instinct is to search for something on YouTube or Google. That can be great. And, you know, having something shown to you in a video um, is for a lot of people better than reading. That's why I make a lot of videos. You know, that's what my channel is about but whether it just works for you better uh, learning like that or you want something really specific, hey, go to the manual. It's there, it's cool. I've got nothing more to say about it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.